Right, question five. The waist tip ratio for women is distributed normally with a mean of 0 0.78 and a standard deviation of 0 0.065. So this is a normal distribution. So the best thing to do is to start by putting your information onto a normal distribution curve. Okay, so this is the curve here. We've got our mean of 0 0.78 in the middle. And we're interested in the percentage of people that have got a waist hip ratio of 0 0.85 and above. So it's this tail end of the curve um, that we're looking at um, finding. Now, as usual, we standardise by um, doing our value minus the mean over the standard deviation. So in this case, 0 0.85 minus 0 0.78 over the standard deviation of 0 0.065. That gives us a value of 1.08. And we've now got to look that up on the normal table. So um, just flipping down, have a look at those. OK, 1.008 is the value that we're looking for. So the first um, whole number and the first decimal place um, you locate here um, on the very left-hand column of the table. And the 8 is over here. And we just look at where the row and the column coincide. And that gives us 0 0.85993. Now, that, of course, is always the larger area um, of the curve. So here we've got our line dividing the curve into two parts. The 0 0.85993 is that side. But, of course, we want the tail end. So we've got to um, take that away from 1. OK, so um, the probability for the tail end is 1 minus 0 0.85993. That's 0 0.14007. And then you can just multiply it by 100 um, to get the percentage, because we're actually asked for the percentage of women with a waist tip ratio greater than 0 0.85.